Hi, everybody. Linda Jahan here coming to you from beautiful Palm Bay, Florida. And I am the virtual class coordinator for Road at Home in May. And I'm bringing you some interviews with our fabulous faculty. <clears throat> really worked hard to bring you a nice selection of the top instructors from all over the country and across the pond. My guest today is Joyce Hughes, and she is coming to you from uh, central Pennsylvania. She's a, a very dear personal friend of mine. And now we're going to talk to uh, her about her classes. Hey, Joyce. Hello, Linda. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good, thanks. Are you Good. excited to be back with Road at Home? I am thrilled to be back. I had wonderful classes, wonderful students, and I'm hoping, uh, you know, I'm sure the students will be just as fun that we had great classes last time. So I'm thrilled. And, and we are thrilled that you're coming back. Thank you. So um, you are in central Pennsylvania. Um, more eastern Pennsylvania. More on the eastern side. Yeah, I'm about an hour and a half north of Philadelphia. So straight up from Philadelphia, an hour and a half. And you've been, you've been teaching on Zoom for, since this all started? Since it started in April, back in April, 2020, um, sort of jumped the bug right away. Like I had to figure out something to do. I was getting, you know, all this rescheduling and canceling. And um, I just had to figure out something to do to not lose that teaching opportunity and meeting my students. So it's and, and all these new skills you learn. Yes. Yeah. So many new things. You know, I never knew about video like I do now and uh, taping and all that kind of bit. So, yes, a lot of new stuff a with lot of, a lot of good friends. So, yeah. Yes. And, and now you can have students from all over the world. Yes. Yeah. So uh, let's talk about uh, some of your classes that you're doing. Um, your first class is F110, F110, that's Friday, and that's a uh, thread painting pansy. Yes, so this is the actual project that we're going to be working on. So it starts with the panel, and I like to use the panels for class because then we can get right into learning the technique is really what we want to learn. You know, it's not the designing factor. So I've, you know, taken the intimidation factor of um, designing and laying it out and, you know, the color proportions and all that bit is now to our advantage by using a panel, we can go right to it and start using our threads and learning the technique of adding the multiple layers that you see on your thread painting. And this, this panel is included in your kit? Yes, in the kit um, includes the panel, the instructions, the prep work that you might need before class so we can get right to work. And then it also includes all the threads that are used on the top and in the bobbins. So there is nothing that you would need other than um, a needle. You know, I, I tell you, Top Stitch 90 needle is what I use for my thread painting. And so you, we will be able to get right to it with all the supplies right there and like a nice little goodie bag and ready to go. And what, what kind of skills do you need? Um, really, the biggest skills you need is to forget about everything, honestly. Um, the people that come that I've noticed that come to class that have all this, you know, everything has to be perfect and everything, all my points have to be matched, just throw that out the door because this is just fun, creative. Um, there's no wrong or right. It's the process that we're gonna go through. So as far as skills, um, it, there, you, know, you could be a beginner to who have been sewing for 25 years. If you just wanna be creative and explore how to combine the different threads to create the shadowing and shading and highlighting, all that fun stuff that really makes the quilt pop. Um, so any skills, honestly. Now, are there, are there any special, besides your kit, are there any special um, gadgets or gizmos that one um, 
Like Not really. I, I say on the paper that I supply that if you're familiar, like when you're doing free motion quilting and if you like to use gloves or you like to use a slider, that kind of, you know, all those accessories, you're more than willing to, to use them. It is not necessary. It's not something that's definitely needed to learn thread painting, but a lot of people um, like to use that when they free motion quilt. So I say, you know, if you use that for free motion quilting, you might want to use your gloves or your slider, things like that. But again, not necessary. The biggest thing that you need, um, the classes that I'm teaching are all on the domestic sewing machine. So the biggest thing that you need is to be able to, your machine needs to be able to do free motion quilting which means to drop your feed dogs and um, a free motion quilting foot that is open enough that we can do a zigzag stitch with it because we will be using two stitches, a zigzag stitch in free motion and a straight stitch in free motion. So that's about the only thing that you need on your machine. Wow, that, that sounds pretty, pretty simple it, supply. Like. It really is. It's very, like, it's very simple. It's very easy. Majority of, of machines nowadays, I, I haven't really come to a machine that in all the classes when I was in person or Zoom that has not been able to do free motion, meaning drop your feed dogs. So that's all you need. Great. Excellent. All right, let's talk about uh, Saturday's class. Okay. Saturday is SA104, and that is the Goldfinch. Yes. So this one is about the same size, but um, this one actually is raw edge applique. So it's a little bit, uh, you know, the, the approach is exactly the same. The thread painting is exactly the same. And I like to show that I could, you know, matter if it's raw edge or on a panel, my process and the techniques are all the same, but it's just a little bit of a different design. Um, what you get in your kit with this one, um, with the pansy, you got as a panel. What I had done for the students, so we can get again right to class, um, I had have the background cut and then I arranged all of the flowers, the leaves and the bird on there. So these were all raw edged that I then prepared iron flat down. So you get this, you know, not with the binding on, but you get the design like this and then we're ready for free, you know, for doing our thread painting. So there was some, a lot of prep work before. And then in the kit, you also get all the threads uh, for the top and the bottom in the bobbins and the instructions. And that's a little, that one's a little sparkly. Well, this one has rhinestones on it, crystal rhinestones that you're seeing. Oh. So I talk about that at the end on how we finished that. And even in all of the classes, um, I talk about like, this is where it's completely finished. I finished the class with how I square up my quilts and add my inner border and outer border and my fake back. So not only is it just even thread painting, it's I do instruct how to finish the quilt so that it will look like this when you're done. Good. If that's, you know, your way of choosing to finish the project. That's pretty cool. And yeah. that, that is also available in a kit that needs to be ordered prior to um, yeah. the kit closing uh, registration deadline. Okay. It's I'm nice to have the kit like this and what I found, especially with Zoom and especially with, you know, maybe stores aren't open um, and the availability isn't there. With the kit, everything is included. So you do not have to go search online for, you know, what thread to get. Is this color right? Is this one, you know, is this the right weight of thread? Um, this way you just have everything in a bag and ready to go. So it really, especially now with virtual, makes it a lot nicer to have that kit prepared like that. Yes, I, I totally agree, totally. All right, let's go to Sunday. Okay. Sunday is SU105 and that is the poppies. Yes, so very oh, similar pretty. to the um, goldfinch one, just a different design and also a different way of doing the flowers and a different way of doing a bird. But again, just like the goldfinch, um, 
what you get in the kit with this one is the design. It's all raw edge. So I fussy cut out these flowers and the leaves and the bird and I arranged it for you. So, you know, you might have a leaf up here, whereas I have it there, but the design is all very, very similar. Um, so again, um, all you have to do is get to class and get ready to sew so that you can get right to doing the thread painting on it. And the instructions again on how to finish it is done with this one also. So you, you, you really put a lot into it. Truly I did do a lot of work. Um, I, I always think um, when I get to class, what do I want to do? I want to learn the technique. That's what I signed up for. I didn't sign up to, you know, fussy cut flowers out. That to me, that would be a totally different class. I will explain what I did in that class to prepare so that when you go to do it on your own projects, you'll know what to do. But that probably saved us a good maybe hour, hour and a half of class time. So, you know, to me, it was worth it for me to do that work for you so that we can get to learn what you signed up for, which is thread painting. And now this, this technique that you do, um, yes, this is this is featured and you have two books. I do have technique. two books. And my two books, uh, my first book that came out, uh, it's probably about two years old now, is Creating Art Quilts with Panels. And it has a lot of different techniques, a lot of different embellishments that I do. Um, and my whole goal on even with working with a panel like the Pansy, the goal is that at the end of it, it does not look like a panel. And that's really what this um, book is really detailed about, is how you can see all those panels that you see in the fabric stores. And you say, what do you do with it? Well, at the end, you use all these different techniques and then it looks like an art quilt. So that's my first book. And then the second book, which is off of the quilt behind me, uh, is Thread Painting a Garden Quilt. And this came out in November. So it's you know still not even a year, half a year. <laughs> We've been, yeah, I forget how long. Um, but this is definitely detailed around raw edge applique and uh, very similar to the goldfinch quilt that, and the poppies. So, um, and that was my second book. Very proud of, of the books and getting that accomplished. And, and you also have some panels. I um, do. Different, you know, different ones that you... I, you, I do. Um, again, going back to using the, the pansy panel, when I was doing all this teaching and I was working on panels, uh, when you work with manufactured panels, meaning from, you know, a fabric company, they only print for maybe six months. And once it's done and you can't find that anymore, it's done. Yeah. So what I was having problems was finding, signing up for a class, setting up a class, and then a year later, not being able to find that panel anymore. So what I ended up doing was I started to take photographs of my garden and then getting those photographs developed onto fabric. So now they are exclusive to me and they work beautiful for, um, you know, working on with, th with thread painting. And we, and we can have some of your garden in our house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, here <laughs> we go. Visit. <laughs> so, so that's really good that your classes are for everybody. And uh, the kit deadline, don't forget, is May 7th. So yeah. if you would like to take Joyce's classes, you need to really get a, a hustle on to make sure that you have your kit to you in time. Yeah. So going over it again, you can go to the Road to California website, road2ca.com. You'll go to Road at Home, click down for the class information and you will search Joyce Hughes and you'll be looking for F110, it's Friday 110 for the pansy. I'm peeking down to get them. <laughs> I threw them on the ground, I tossed them on the ground. There's the pansy. F110, that is the pansy, that's Friday. 
SA104 is the Goldfinch, and that's on Saturday. SU105, and that is the Poppies, and that is on Sunday. You can have some coffee, you can have all your stuff about you, and enjoy your time with Joyce. Thank you. Joyce, is there anything else you would like anybody to know about taking a class with you? No, um, just the class is really a fun, fun, very relaxing, uh, just, you know, just be relaxed, enjoy it, enjoy the process, be creative. And um, everyone has left that they're surprised at what they've done and loved, loved what they've created. Awesome. Yep. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you at uh, Road at Home in May. And we'd like to, just don't forget, sign up soon so you can uh, order your kits. And we would ask you to please, please, please get your vaccine, keep wearing your mask, and keep washing your hands so that you can see all of us and hug us in person because um, we just, we miss you. And um, we'll see you real soon. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.